Thank you so much for our next speaker. We are excited to introduce a longtime partner and supporter of March for Our Lives, Attorney General James. Please welcome the Attorney General. Make some noise! Republican members of Congress will not move until they feel the power of people. And until the power of people change the winds and allow the winds to blow so hard that they cannot stand in the way of progress. All of you who have marched in New York and all across this country, you represent the winds of change. Young and old, every background, race and religion, united in one singular effort to stop gun violence. Young people who have turned the greatest pain they're into passion and purpose and will turn out in record numbers and vote all across this country right. and vote to end gun violence and vote for a woman's right to choose. <laughs> Parkland, Buffalo, Uvalde, San Antonio, South Carolina, Columbine, Philadelphia, Tulsa, Chattanooga, and every urban city in every damn day. Only in America, only in this country, simple tasks like going grocery shopping and going to church end in bloodshed and death and destruction. AR-15s that pulverize children, decapitate them, bullets riddled, and bodies strewn all across the streets of America. Enough prayers, enough empty thoughts. This is a defining moment, young people. A moment in this country from a woman's rights, to civil rights, to gay rights, to transgender rights, to disabled rights, to voting for change, for the environment, did not start with politicians. It was all of you, young people, young people who led and politicians who followed. Members of the GLP to man up. Man up. Man up. And stand up to those who are standing in the way of progress. I fight with all of you every single day to take on the powers that have held us hostage as a country. I fight along with all of you every single day to protect our communities. I fight along all of you every single day to get guns off our streets and out of our schools. And we, together, all of you, all of you in the sound of my voice, must break the collective yoke around the neck of this country. hostage and break the chains that have bound this country. Now I'm sick and tired of praying. I've run out of prayers and I'm tired of going to funerals, funeral after funeral. I'm tired of holding mothers and fathers in my arms and crying over open caskets. I've been doing it for far too damn long. We were elected to solve problems and address the needs of the people. And when I was elected many years ago, 
being a coward was not part of the job description. And so, yeah, I worked to stop investing public pension funds into companies and retailers that sell guns because money talks. We shut down dozens of companies that sell gun go ghost guns because we won't wait for the federal government to regulate these de deadly weapons. We've taken thousands of guns out of our streets because any gun off the street is a potential life saved. And so we've got to work together, work together to march and to use our collective voice to protect the lives of children and individuals. And I will do all that I can in my capacity to protect your lives, but most importantly, to protect your rights. to all of these young people who are part of the movement for change. This is a historic moment, young people. You have shown that you can stand up to those who stand in the way of progress. Individuals who put power over politics. So we've got to stand together because we've got the power to change things in our nation. But we've got to keep on marching. It can't continue. We can't continue to build small coffins for children. That's just not the way of this country. So let's stand together and let's march for our lives. Yeah. And let's save this nation from itself. Yeah. God bless you and thank you.